Hi everyone, welcome to a new live stream. And um, today I have the pleasure to, to introduce you to um, Storm Choir Ultimate by Stretch of Sampling. And yeah, so as you can see in the, in the mini overview here, um, let me just switch to the main screen here. And I hope everything works okay, the video and the audio and everything. And um, as you can see, everything is red. <laughs> So it's completely untidy and um, yeah, actually I didn't have much time, but I don't want to justify myself. Um, I didn't have much time to finish that demo. Actually, I just finished it like probably an hour before, before I went live now here. <clears throat> but this is actually a good example because, because, because um, that I can demonstrate you how awesome or how easy you can set up an entire choir performance, um, you know, in, in, in a very short amount of time. And yeah, let me just maybe set, I think I have to set the gate of my voice. I have to reduce the, the gate a little bit. So that should be better. And um, so, who do we have here? Just let me just see if I can. Well, I can see over here. Right. So welcome. Oh, Patrick is here. Uh, Eric Carter, I think your foreign, first name was Richard, right? As far as I, I don't, I don't remember really. Commander Root. Thanks for being here. So let's just. Um, Oh, hey, Misha, Mike, hey. Seems like there's a little bit of delay going on here with the, um, <clears throat> with the, with the incoming messages. Okay, so what I want to do first is um, just run the demo. And also, I just have to let you know, uh, I'm very brave. I'm very brave this week. So uh, yesterday I wasn't, or Monday, I wasn't, I wasn't only just doing a stream for the JXL brass with like an entire new sample engine, the sign player. But today I'm, I'm already on my new machine. So um, there is also a lot of plugins and, and, and lips missing. So I hope we don't have any crazy ideas today. And then everybody's like, oh yeah, do this. And then I say, oh no, we don't have this lib on here. So let me just play you my demo first. I also had to use a little bit of different um, plugins for the mastering. Actually, let me just, oh, every time I, I just hit the wrong thing. So just in case if you wonder what I'm doing here, I set this. Oh, actually, I didn't even switch to the to the English version of Cubase but I, I will hopefully successfully translate you just in case I'm doing any weird stuff in, in the menu above here or whatever. So what I just did was hitting Control and Alt, so my voice channel here will always stay um, active, even though if I'm soloing some of these things here. Yes, so let me just play you the demo first, and then we go through it.
Yeah, there's a little bit of metal going on tonight, <clears throat> which isn't a bad thing. Never a bad thing. Um, yeah, so actually, I'm just laughing because um, uh, I just had a moment, you know, just to, to reset, reboot my brain and think this demo turned out pretty good, considering that I started around what it is like six hours ago. So I didn't work all the time, but I probably started around like 3 p.m. in the afternoon and worked for like probably five, six hours for this demo. And um, I mean, in that time, it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's pretty okay, I decent, not pretty cool. Um, there should be, or there could be some, you know, effects going on, some small details and everything. But um, I mean, actually when you, I mean, let me, let me start like this. If I would have built such a choir performance 10 years ago with, um, you know, these libraries back then, I I remember that I was sitting there on one one you know like a one um, you know for example the sopranos, I was sitting or just the 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 women or, or whatever the men whatever you you know whatever you want to talk about first. So um, I was cutting the audio files, the consonants and the vowels. I was cutting these and and merging these things. Um, by audio manually so when i was building just an, a 30 second choir bit it was really like you know i was i was taking it was taking probably there as long as i would need it for this entire demo so let me just um pull up the library here and as you can see this is the the um the ultimate performance there is let me just quickly or maybe let me add um before I mess up the demo here, let me just let me just load another another contact contact instance and put this down here. I put you to the very top. Why are you? Why are you here? Let me just move you up for a second. And um, well, let me just load it in the meantime. So there is the ultimate performance. This is what I used above. It may sound a little bit different because of, you know, the processing. I actually had to do a little bit, not because of the library or to make it sound better, but there is such a den dense stuff happening. You have to just go in there and do some surgery, you know. So um, the cool thing about this is, and actually there's another funny thing. When I got the first Storm Choir library back then, which quickly turned out to be my favorite choir library, so I probably used it on every on every project I was doing since since this thing was released, the original Storm Choir library. I always, and I think I also did a video about this, that I load the staccato and the sustain um, articulations on the same MIDI channel, so in the same... Um, contact instance and I hit both of them um, you know in combination with a little bit of compression and, and reverb you get some really decent results and the funny thing is um, on this Storm Choir Ultimate update or this new release this is so cool because um, this is now a, a program you can you have available so if I just play this here Actually, let me, let me mute my microphone. This is so cool because you can quickly set up just very complex stuff and I will just... Let me just play you the, the, the choir here, uh, soloed. Okay, so also I don't have any, any, uh, anything else on the um uh, in terms of reverb i just used the internal reverb i didn't change anything i just loaded it and used it and 
let me just use this other instance because there's something really cool I can show you and this is um, the setup. So now currently you have the man. And then you see, I hope you see that all right here, then you have the little bit of scene stuff where you, the choir overlaps and this is um, the women only here. And then you can also set it to divide it. So you got the male, the man here. So you get them both split up. And then <clears throat> another cool thing is, which which can be really helpful when you when you work on uh, something quick, you know, and just need some kind of an ensemble or a phrase, that they are stacked but in octaves. So this means like the the, the women are an octave above the man's. So this comes pretty handy when you just have to, you know, there is a rush job or whatever, and then you just can. So you have a complex choir going within just, you know, a few seconds. And um, yes, I actually played the guitars myself. Uh, we will get to that. We can fool around a little bit with the... I can show the, the other stuff um, I used later, um, the, the additional instruments. And um, yeah, so this is basically this, this ultimate performance. So let's just check this for us. I'm sorry, I'm just loading this so I'm not messing up the demo. And so you get these vowels here. You can deactivate them or load them back. Um, I, I think it's just they picked, um, the team probably picked the most sense-making. <laughs> that it sounds pretty cool when it comes to, um, you know, exchange of the syllables to make it more... You know, realistic. I mean, this is a typical stuff. You have the close microphone, you have the decatrice, you have the hall mics. Um, you can control the volume, solo mute, pan, all this stuff. I think I don't have to explain this. There is a little bit of a thing here. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I just have to guess, but I think it's um, it increases the dynamic range when I just pull this up. So things seem to be a little bit more spread out upon. Um, on that on the dynamic side of life and this is actually it so you don't have anything else to adjust here because um, you probably can yeah you can probably deactivate um, um, each of these categories each of the men or the women and just use one of these but you know this is um, basically there's nothing actually this helps te text message so um, maybe I don't know maybe it's just not working because of the, of video recording I don't know um, but um, isn't a biggie but yeah so this is actually um, everything you need when you just want to work with um, you know um, have a quick choir set up and, and you want to go um, <clears throat> oh right single notes within a chord by velocity oh okay that's let, let's just test this this is good that you mentioned this because um let me just yeah I, I, Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, velocity, it already says it, you know. <laughs> I could have. So, this is pretty helpful. So, just you want to give, um, um, you, you want to uh, set some accent to a, to, a, to a specific note inside the arrangement, inside your, your setup or your, your, you know, arrangement of the choir. Yeah, this is pretty helpful. Um, yes, so let's check out a little bit more here. Um, I, actually, I used um, one of these tenors here on this tra on this um, in my demo. So this is pretty powerful. 
and I just, you know, did did it in the in the usual way, just loading up a few syllables and just. And you can do much more. You can just, you know, combine words. So you could build like, I mean, just just making stuff up. You could make this an entire word. But then, of course, you would have to work on the uh, on on the um, you have to work on the on the settings and and to make this you know give this a little bit more sense when you combine all these syllables. And you can set also set these two. Uh, let me just let's just you know dive a little bit more into this into these sections. So you have the soloists. I was loading the was using the solo tenor and then let's just you load this again so you can simply pick the syllables down here I mean, you have so many things you can actually set, um, you know, um, key switches to control all the words in individually. You can set these things to staccato. So if you want uh, these to let sing staccato, there's also, you know, all kinds of... And you can also change um, all these things. <laughs> You know, to be honest, I I don't want to make this a tutorial about how you um how you can use all this. Um, there are actually uh, walkthroughs available, but um, I just wanted to show you how I use this in the setup and writing writing the demo here. But let's just fool around a little bit, where you can. Um, so I just have to set this to sustain. Just try if we can. Well, actually, I think I can just do this for the. Um I think it's way more complex. I, I think I should do like a dedicated um, tutorial on the on all these settings and how you set these things up. But basically, you can you can you know build your own words. But to be honest, the way I prefer to to use it is that I set up these single in um, syllables. I would always use um, um, you know something like the ultimate performance, which was actually pretty helpful today um, when I not had not had no, uh, <laughs> I didn't have that much time um to work these things out um yes so I also used some of these legato phrases down here Also set the you can set the overlap on so you have um, probably um, multi legato going on. Let's just, I would say, 
I don't want to mess up the, the actually the settings for the demo. So I think I had it like this. And um, as for the choirs, this was basically everything I was using. So let's use this uh, instance down here and check out some more of the stuff which is which is in here. So you have the um, the solo alto. <clears throat> I just have to set up a few. I think I could also load some standard settings here. Just have to um, say probably saving opening. So I actually I don't want to you know just waste time fooling around too much on on just trying to find stuff. Some of the solo bass dramatic. Pretty cool, Fundo. Uh, sorry, I should load a few more syllables here. Let's fill it up. Prod Lawrence, thanks for following me. That's deep. Actually, when you want to go a little bit faster, you should probably. Really, uh, set the release a little bit in the attack a little bit faster. Hey, Peter, how are you? Thanks for being here. Okay, let's load some solo mezzo soprano. Filling up a few syllables here. Oh, that's cool to hear. Solo soprano, dramatic. Loading a few syllables here. Yes, Peter, this is uh, the Storm Choir Ultimate new release by Strats of Sampling. If I just well, it looks like it sounds like as if I'm doing something here, <laughs> something is happening. So Let's continue with the um, what do we have here? Solo soprano lyrical.
Yeah, the shades of red look really... <laughs> it looks a little bit like being at the butcher some, somewhere. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but it actually... Solo tenor. Dramatic. I think we heard this already above here in, in my demo. <clears throat> So again, if you want to really make these tied up and, you know, like really going over and, um, you know, the, the syllables correctly going over into each other and, and making, you know, some sense-making stuff, creating some sense-making stuff, you really have to, you know, bring a little bit of time and make it. So it's not like yeah. you pr play these things right. And also <clears throat> vocals are pretty hard, pretty hard to do with samples. But to be honest, <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm saying this without, you know, you know, like being, you know, do, being like that typical salesman or whatever. But um, Storm Choir is definitely my my favorite, my favorite choir library. So I would just probably, you know, pay the full money for just getting this ultimate performance because this was actually like I used the library before. And um, so this is just, I mean... It, it would be almost unfair to say that this is just a nice, you know, something which has been added to the side, you know, because this is really beautiful. Let's load some more of these. So. Hey, Patrick, nice to see you. And fishing for sound, thanks for following. So that's pretty cool. All these soloists, I think you can, you know, if you spend some time, you can really build some some really amazing stuff. And um, let's go through these. Um, let's load up this. Um, so that's we we discover that later that because this is basically like um the the split up uh so oh, let, let's load it right now let's load the women here <clears throat> so this is actually um let's say the ultimate performance was kind of the light version of what you can see what you see now <laughs> so these are all the syllables you have available so let's just you know load up these things and then of course you know there you can you can do all this stuff here over here And you can also go in here and say, okay, some of these, let's make these staccato, but probably put too many syllables in here. So you can really build some, you know, if you're really a fan, to be honest, I really like to, to have this. Um, I would probably go in there and layer and do the same if I wouldn't have this ultimate performance program here, I would probably load in the women and set all the same syllables. All the, the same syllables twice and put one, uh, let's say one program, one patch to sustain and the other one to staccato to just... Um, Let's load the man for a second here. Okay, so yeah, the polyphonic true legato is in here. So that's what I was doing before by just um, 
setting it to overlap. I hope I did this right. And um, But if you really want to get into all the, the, the details of what you can really do with a library, I just want to give an overview and, you know, stick with the demo in general and just show you how I use the library. And... Set a few of these to staccato. Yes. So I have to put the key switch. I think it was the uh, this one to reset. So this is also pretty helpful. Um, I actually did, didn't do it in this demo, but um, when you have phrases going on, you can use the key switches to. To just start, I always use the 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 this the first one here, on on I think it's G minus one or something, and to reset the phrase because when you start, um, for example, you know you're deleting something on 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 the 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 the, uh, the women's channel on the track, and then you just play something back, things will mess up, so you always have the chance to reset the phrase. Okay, um, yes, so let's check out um, the effects. Let's go in here and, and, and check out some effects from this. So it always sound, it almost sounds like an entire movie soundtrack when you have. <laughs> where you have some tension scene going on and there is always happening something in the in this in the patch you're currently using. Hey Tarek, good to see you. Yeah, choir swells are always, I assume that these are... Oh, down. <laughs> oh, you lost. Yeah, comparing it with other choir libraries, probably can do this in a dedicated video, you know, just taking care of, you know, doing doing library comparisons. But I just want to keep this, of course, with a with this release right now here. And um, let's go on. Let's load some of these whispers and shouts. These are pretty cool to have. I mean, I always... Oh, when you... Okay, so when you hit the velocity not that hard, you hear that then them whispering. Uh, actually, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just so distracted by these. It's actually the, the syllables. That's even more awesome. I was just, I, I just had the impression that there is like, you know, some round robin stuff happening and some, some clusters. And 
that's really cool. So I really love this when you do, you know, like uh, RPG music for video games, like role playing stuff, adventure stuff, and you have these big drums going on, like, and then you have these. Or probably just it always adds a little bit something animalic barbaric when you do like these heavy percussions and then you have softly in the background you could even you know go with something like you know oh uh, sorry <laughs> yeah you know you probably have to, to get rid of the um the reverb for for a second here so let's reset this but just as an idea okay so here are the women effects So these are the clusters we heard before. Oh, Robin, it's you. I thought so. I I, I was just actually <laughs> thinking you actually told me that this is your account, right? So we have someone here from the from the stretch of support team. He could probably answer all these technical questions better than I do, but. risers and the downers very cool let's hop over to these whispers and shouts i mean this is So this is really cool. As I said, let's let's see how these turn um, tuned down. Let's make it an octave. Okay. So um, this is basically the library. I mean, I could talk. Let's let we didn't load the legados, right? Let me just let me just start somewhere. So we have the overlaps on. So, Robin, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, this is that you have the um, that you have the multi legato active. the oligado Okay, let's load the OA legato. See how this sounds. Let's 
Turn off the overlap for a second. Yeah, it's pretty helpful. Also, I think it was introduced in your um, with the aflato strings back then. Um, it makes makes a lot of sense and is actually really a lot of help when you have the the, um, the polyphonic legato going on that you can you don't have you can basically save some time to load additional patches and stuff like this. Sounds pretty good. Let's load the women. The Arlegato. like the dynamics that you can replay really some very soft stuff. Okay, o allegaro. Hey Xenos Music, thank you. I try my best. I just try um, you know, to uh, demonstrate the new Storm Choir Ultimate library by Strats of Sampling. And um, I successfully <laughs> you know, got around explaining <laughs> explaining uh, all these settings here, you know, because I mean this is, you know, you can do so much in this word builder, but to be honest, um, this is um if you if you really want to dig into this in and in, in all these syllable controls and all that stuff, um, I would just really suggest to um, to watch a dedicated tutorials because um, by by Strats of Sampling, so dedicated tutorials by the company itself because um, they can explain it better because they build it and um, it's actually it's just not the way how I work. So I always would go for this and that's why I. Um, pulled up this um, ultimate ultimate performance up here. Especially when you quickly want to have something, you know, and and, and you have some melody in your head, and you quickly want to. You know, get it on on paper. So um, let me maybe just continue what I did in dinner in general for the demo, and then we could also check out a little bit of the of the um, additional instruments I'm I was using here. Um, so what I did for the choir, and actually I did this not because the choir sounds bad or anything, but I did this to get you know this through the demo because it's really dense. Um, so actually, it's not that much. I just pulled a little bit of the, of an IQ. EQ, I mean. IQ, yeah, I need IQ. So um, a little bit of an IQ, IQ here. And let me just bypass the compressor. So please don't be irritated. This is how, how the library sounds, but your ears are now used to what I was playing all the time. So give it some time and... and Actually, we heard it. We heard it all the time below. Uh, in the other, um, in the other instance, but I did this to give um, to get rid of this 
build up here because the the choir the arrangement i was doing is actually pretty dense and especially with vocals you have a lot of mid frequencies building up when you do i mean just to to exaggerate it you know it always there is a build up happening in the middle and um that's why i let me just open it again that's why i put some getting rid of these things here because i felt like uh, when i when i mix stuff like this i always have the full track in mind not the individual library or the individual sounds i don't care if anything sounds artificial on its own what is important for me does it work in the mix or not this is the only thing i'm looking for so that's what i'm always you know find it a little bit you know funny when people say like they listen to some stems of something or somebody made it available to have like this, you know, to have an instrument available as just the single instrument and people are like, you know, that doesn't sound good or anything. To me, it's always the most important if it's uh, if it if it works in the mix. And then I also put some little compression on it to just, you know, balance it a little bit. <laughs> that's it i just had this little bit of eq going on and um i also put some little compression on the tenor here that it just stings a little bit more through no. a little no. 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 dude thank you thanks so much man I don't know what to say. I'm 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 really I'm flattered. Thank you so much, man. Seriously. So um this is actually I think what did I do for the women? Actually nothing. So this is the only thing I did. And I also didn't do a lot of mastering stuff. I have some little bit of compression going on here. Uh multiband compression with the drummer. And I have to be honest, I was using this the slate um the FGX. It's not my favorite, to be honest. It's not my favorite mastering compressor. But uh, since we are on my new machine already here, um, I still need to install all the plugins. But I'm pretty happy how this demo turned out in general. And so there's just a little bit of compression going on on mastering. That's it. Nothing else for this demo. Um, considering that there is a lot of stuff going on. So if you want, we can check out a little bit of the other instruments here, especially the guitars and stuff like this. So let me just load um, the guitars here for a second. Um, actually, I have to say, you know, I'm a guitarist. I'm a bit picky and I didn't clean these up. So I left them... Patrick, I feel very honored because usually this is the moment you would set up, uh, you know, you would, you know, get up a game or, or or get in front of Netflix and watching some some movie or TV series when you have the night for yourself. Um, so, but you're watching the stream, so thank you. Um, actually, I could just you know spend a few seconds if you want and grab a guitar real quick. <clears throat> You know, so once in a while, let me just get some pick without. I hope you can. Can you see that? Okay, we talk a lot of about about you know digital stuff and plugins, and so sometimes once in a while it's just nice to have some real instrument going. So what I did for the guitars, what I actually can really recommend, is it's actually pretty big. I think you can can make it a little bit smaller but i think i can actually i can i can leave it like this maybe this is probably better so this is just the 
um, the archetype Nolly. Nolly is actually the bass player and the mixer of Periphery. So this thing sounds pretty cool. I mean, I don't want to to get too much into, you know, like making a, gu a guitar lesson or anything, but actually I should mute them. So all that gate stuff is pretty important. Um, just quickly, you know, you have a lot of, you know, put in some compression here, some little overdrive. You can pick several amps here. This is pretty cool. You have some EQ going and you can actually get really deep into, you know, placing all the microphones and everything. So this is what I used for the and here you have some delay and additional reverb going. So I'm messing up my entire demo, but just for a second. So I really like I really like these these um, neural DSP plugins for guitar. There is another one which is which is called um, the Nameless Suit. It's very brutal. It's very hardcore. Um, you need a lot of gate to play to fool around with this, and it it meshes. You know, actually, it became quickly became my favorite my favorite guitar stuff. So there's actually not a lot of stuff going on either here on the mix. I think I put some compression also in here. Actually here in this, I still have to... So as I, as I said, I'm really picky. So there is nothing uh, cleaned up or tightened or anything. Let me just put my guitar away. <clears throat> we can we can have a guitars um, um, stream someday. I'm just talking about these plugins, or because I probably have too many. Uh, so what did I do? What did I use um, for the for? There's some percussions going on, which I used from the Heaviosities, the Wood Ensemble. So nothing too fancy, just a bit of support for the drum set. something here in the back so nothing too crazy just a little bit of okay so for the drums I used yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit of a fanboy <laughs> because this again was produced Modern Massive by by Nolly, the guy you saw the guitar plug-in. Actually, this this guy is just crazy. I love all the periphery mixes and he's such a nerd and, and a great bass player, you know. He's also a great guitar player and he's just, you know, everything in, when it comes to, you know, let's say guitar bass gear but also uh, he recorded this i'm not really sure who was the player there's another uh drum library also out which is um you know played by matt halpern which is the drummer uh, of periphery but this one I, i'm actually not sure what what the uh, drummer was but
Oops. So you can pick, you know, quite a few instruments here. I really love this library because you just load it in, hit this button here in your face, <laughs> and then you're ready to roll. And it quickly, you can especially get some cool drum sounds going with. Actually, I, I actually I have a little bit of problems with the toms, so, but I just use the 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 general stereo mix, so you could split this out to several you know outputs and just take care of the typical stuff when you're just you know EQing out the toms and everything. But they could have they could sound better by default, but. Hey Akshay, how are you? Yeah, there's not much to see, lots of dots. <laughs> I could have also programmed a little bit better, you know, it's it's not pretty, you know, especially since we have or did Peter run away <laughs> because he's a drummer, a very talented and good drummer. So um, it's always a little bit funny when you see like, it's like, you know, you're playing some, hey, let's do some movie, um, movie music and then some, you know, film composer drops in and say, what's going on here? So I don't know if Peter ran away. <laughs> so, okay. Um, what else did I do? Um, to be honest, um, yeah, I played some bass here. It sounds very dirty. I, I don't even sure what I used. I used the, the slate, this little slate plugin. And I don't. I really hope. Yeah, it doesn't crash. Uh, I just used the model, modern metal bass. I did a few adjustments here, but. I built actually a pretty cool bass sound template, but it's still on my old machine. But I just wanted to pour it as quickly as possible to just keep continue working. And um, I mean, this machine is pretty crazy. Hey, Dirk, thanks for following me. Hope you're well. And um, yeah, actually, this, this machine is pretty crazy. I mean, I was... I just have to tell this. So yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I was loading the the JXL um, brass. We get to this in a minute because I got this here actually. I used this the French horns, and I just have to you know load this a second. So what I did here, I was just loading the. Um, oh, actually, I just have yeah, I have these three micro microphones uh, microphone positions on here, the AM, AMXL. So it was basically the 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 Alan Myerson and the Junk XL mix, the tree, the room, and the surround microphones, and I just loaded all of these for also so as you can see here this the sustain samples the mercado shorts and the staccatissimo so but yesterday <laughs> that's what i wanted to say i loaded i think all of the al myerson uh, junk xl microphone mixes which are probably i don't know how many um, <laughs> I would just have to check because I'm laughing. Actually, this is just three plus four. So there is three plus four. So yeah, so I think uh, it's actually seven microphone positions. Each microphone position has 20 gigabytes. So I loaded probably like 3.5 gigabytes in here. And <laughs> I just took my elbow and just slammed on the keys with um, these settings. And I had like probably right now like as right now probably going like 700 voices going on and let me just put the audio meter in here for a second so i can't get this thing past 40 percent so it's an 18 core um three gigahertz from the newest generation i think it's the 10 9 80 something i'm not really sure and uh, the buffer setting is actually 200 um 60 uh, 200 uh, 256 yeah so uh, actually i was working all the time on 512 or 1024 actually right now it's 256 so i'm pretty happy with this thing um let me just 
Uh, playable runs no there are no 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 runs or any uh, specific articulations that you can build effects like stuff um, this is entirely just as you can see here it's these are i hope you can see that all right so you got the sustains legados sustain sustain soft uh, for sando sustains uh, marcados long and short staccato staccatissimo and the only uh, effects like stuff is rips but I honestly have to say, let me just load the trombone for a second here. Um. This thing is pervert. I'm mean, seriously, I had more microphone settings going on um, during a few tests. I could switch these all on, but I just don't want to, you know, mess too much with. So it's just an absolutely amazing sound because of all these microphone instances. And I'm seriously, I'm a fan always of having just um, of having just one microphone instance. And as as also for my um, uh, for my official demo, I was writing for for um, orchestra tools. I just used the tree samples. So it, I just basically made use of twenty gigabytes of the entire library. Um, um, but um, I, I just forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> so, but you know, with all these, with all these, uh, so actually, but now when I listen, that's what I wanted to say, right? Um, I'm not that old. Um, when you have all these, sorry, mixer again, when you load these instances here, um, you really you quickly realize how much value they add into the quality of the sound because. Oh, trumpets and horns. Um, I mean, we can check. We can check for a second. But to be honest, I also have... Um, uh, yeah, actually, you can... Um, when you, you have... Um, the legato is switchable, so... If you mean that, so you have... I, let's just, you know, set this. Let's just load a legato patch for a second to show you.
So I'm back. I'm <laughs> sorry about this. Okay, I quickly have to explain why this happened. I, it happened before uh, with a new machine and with um, um, because I am um, actually from the beta team of Orchestra Tool. I was beta testing for JXL Brass, and we have a different server with different versions. And um, you know, before you can slam out a public release, you have to have um, the um, the beta one on there. And this build i was just using on this um on this machine was not the most um recent one but one of these before so that why it happened that the that the um the thing crashed i had this before probably when i when i loaded uh now let me just you know you use this instance to just quickly load um some of the i should i should have done this before but i was probably too let me just load the six trumpets here and um, let me just go to the performance and just have the sustain legato. So sorry about this, but um, I just have to go back to, you know, let me just mute, let me just solo these. Yeah, this is all the funny stuff which happens, um, which, you know, I was, I wanted to avoid. Um, I just, I mean, I just, let me just mess up the demo for a second here. So, so just load this. So you can set up all these things. Um, yeah, the PC boy still room. <laughs> Well, it's actually pretty tricky, you know, but when I when I did my uh, live stream about Jake's El Brass um, on Monday, nothing happened. Everything worked stable. And uh, then I just got my new machine, you know, I set up my new machine, but I didn't install the build, which I should have installed, but used the previous one. So now it just happened that um, just Cubase you know, went down. But that's happened. That's a beautiful thing of doing live stuff. Um, so just, I mean, quickly, you can... It always sounds better when you have naturally recorded runs and stuff like this, because it's pretty hardcore to simulate is with... Um, but um, you can actually... I think you have this for the for the trombones too. Let me just replace this again here. So basically, as with with every um, orchestral tools library, you have um, the, you have um, I don't know exactly where it is that you have a split between. Um, I think you don't have playable runs down here. Okay, I mean, I hope that that makes sense. Uh, just you know, fucked up, fucked up the demo a little bit, but um, streaming music comp composing. <laughs> so, what else did I do? Um, let's get back to some, actually some uh, threads of libraries here because I used the um, Cycado strings on, on this track here. And I really like them because this is the last instrument I think I used. Um, I really like these because they sound very silky. So they, they, they are really soft, but they can add a little bit of power, but you know, not like going like typical trailer style. <laughs> so it's just a little bit of, of, you know, like shimmer on top of this. And, um, 
Yes. This is basically every instrument I was using. And um, I think it's just, you know, I think this video is just a good demonstration that um, that I'm a risky person, <laughs> that, I, that I like to go live with stuff which is still in the risky phase of, you know, having some previous builds on there and not all um, plugins and everything I typically use. But um, I just found it the perfect example to just, you know, um, show that I actually just had you know, like four or five hours to to write this this entire track, including playing everything and um, arranging everything. I mean, it's not my probably not a masterpiece, but it's a pretty good example, as, uh, especially to get back to the choir here for a second. How quickly you can get these ideas going? Yeah, risky, Alex. Actually, there's a funny story because I wanted to, um, you know, start yesterday with a demo, uh, but then I also ordered a couch. Let me just quickly let me let me just go back to the chat mode here. I ordered a new couch, and the couch was delivered, and the guys got in, and I thought, you know, they just, you know, I, I will make some space, and they just go and construct the couch, and I can compose a little bit, and then they put like twenty of twenty five boxes in my hallway and everywhere. And then they turned around and waved and said, goodbye, have a nice day. <laughs> and I was standing there and saying like, oh, um, you know, I thought you would just, you know, um, but I probably missed like a little hook or something like to tick, um, you know, additionally, you know, construct, construct that couch. So I had to do it on my, on my own because the, um, my apartment was, you know, it was an entire mess. Actually, I have a lot of boxes out in the hallway, but I got the couch. And that's, that's. Uh, I also had a little bit of a, you know, what should I write? I initially wanted to go with some Lord of the Rings style stuff, but then I've seen that um, actually Mr. Strats of himself re um, wrote a very, very nice, I think he wrote a, a Lord of the Rings track here. I don't know if you can hear... Can you hear the audio when You know, Lord of the Rings music, so I have to be really careful. Let me just play somewhere on the. So, just quickly playing. So I was initially, you know, looking forward to to get some Lord of the Rings in the style of Lord of the Rings going, but then I you know, made up my mind again and said, okay, it would be probably pretty cool to do some kind of rock metal hybrid. So actually the song is called, I actually forgot the name of my, of my own track. It was called a space pirates nightmare. That's the, that's the name of the track that pre fits pretty well here. <clears throat> Oh, it's actually the the um, let me let me just quickly uh, open that video here. Hey everyone, happy release release day! Uh, this okay, is, uh, he did a he did a yeah, walkthrough of the of the of this uh, track. Storm Choir Ultimate. Uh, first, thank you to everyone who has pre-ordered the library. We really appreciate your support. And it's been a crazy couple of weeks with all the tweaking and 
actually not weeks, maybe more like months. So you can also with, download the, uh, MIDI, the, the MIDI file you said. With, That's pretty with cool. Oh, here. Since the beginning of the year, basically, uh, straight after we finished the flatus. So it's been quite quite a journey uh, so far. And uh, yeah, the library is out. Uh, now you can you can grab a copy of it if, if you like the sound. And um, I was I kind I'll of probably just do it like full screen for do, a second. Um, to do a mock -up, Oh, sorry. Which, uh, I'm actually still on the. I probably am, I'm not the best mock up artist there is for sure. But as soon as I uh, play the first the first alpha patches of this library, this is the only thing that I've been, I've been thinking. <laughs> Take about. Sauce. Yeah. So um, yeah, and um, I decided to make a mock up of it, and I just want to show you what I've done. I'm just going to talk about the choirs here. Uh, so we have um, basically six channels. All of them are the the women and the men patches. Uh, the, the reason there are six of those is because I kind of ran out of uh, places on the dashboard window of the seal builder uh, to get all the lyrics, uh, the lyrics that I wanted. But that's that's the only reason. And um, and yeah, uh, I'll, I'll also upload the media of it as well as all these, you know, lyrics which you can save as presets and you can load them up. You have to be careful again here, so because I don't want to, you know, um, get the video removed on 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 YouTube and then um, have to, you know, re-upload with with the with the with um, editing out the video of of um, of George. This this wouldn't be fair. So um, yeah, I mean, I can just you know. I just love this library already for just this this ultimate performance patch because this is actually to be honest this is especially in the in the you know trailer or I'm I mean I'm always getting hired when when for example in video games when there is battle uh, I don't know why <laughs> I always get hired for the battle and the blood and, and the cracking bone stuff I don't know how this happened um, but you know the, so this is probably this will probably be my um, to go patch um to get all this stuff done you know I should probably get you know like a, a MIDI guitar soon and just you know because I'm I'm really I suck at guitar, uh, um, keyboard playing. But after 15 no no not like almost 30 years on on guitar playing I would also say that I that I suck at guitar playing. <laughs> okay, so I mean that's that's it for this library. I hope you got a good impression on on the library here. Um, just in case, if you just missed the stream, um, you could just rewatch re it on on YouTube. So, just in case, if you if you have any questions or you have anything you want to talk about tonight, let me just know. Let me just turn to the to the more intimate chat view again. So I'm a little bit closer and not just like a a little dot or a little spot somewhere. Right, how can I do this? Like somewhere here in the corner. <clears throat> yeah, Dick Sauce would probably a very epic name for, for a track. Dick Sauce from Space. <clears throat> I will also do, um, just coming to my mind, um, what I will uh, actually do, um, uh, talk about uh, um, doing like a stress test with my machine <laughs> and trying to to get to that point what I just did like a few minutes before you know by by loading uploading another instance here but I don't want to risk anything I should probably um, um, 
install the right build, the, the most um, recent build of Sign Player. But just as a quick, uh, saying this as, a, as just mentioning really quick, um, you know, during during the last 15 years when you've seen all the other stuff like Contact and Play, um, even VSL, VSL um, the VSL player and also the, per, the how do you say, the VSL, um, you know, like that, that big thing, the performance. I don't know, maybe somebody can help me here. What was that thing named? VSL, the performance thing where you can load up all these instruments, which is which was basically built for um for for the slaves initially to have um you know additional if you want to have work if you work with additional slaves or additional computers. <clears throat> Vienna Ensemble Pro, yeah. I mean if you see um how long it took, you know, to to get how the to, to, to get these these samplers or these um, pieces of software right i mean considering that that sign is just one day old it does it does fairly well you know it's also especially performance wise so when you can hit like a thousand voices we could also um then then it's just um you know pretty stable so far so i'm pretty happy pretty amazed with it and actually in in times when i was setting up my machine it would be a very it would have been a very good thing to um to have something like this because you could simply um you know set up your machine sign into some instrument and just load everything you want or need we could actually take a, a little bit of a um a little bit of time by loading an additional instance of um of the aflato strings here check one of these some of these patches here um because there's a lot of cool stuff going on here let's load the angelic strings for a second Since we are at Lord of the Rings. I don't know how this song goes, but <clears throat> Indian strings. The sacre, you say? Let's check out where are these. Um, I think they are in the, no, not the experimental, but in the um, ensembles here. You mean these? Tenuto? No. As I said, I can't play any, I can't play any songs. This is really, this is, I can't play any songs on piano or on keyboard, nothing. Red Army Strings. You want to, you want to do like a little bit of a um, um, a hardware test here, Robin, and try the avant-garde staccatos. Let me let me just load the avant-garde staccatos. Um, they are in the what was that patch again? Was oh here. Okay, you want to do a stress test here <laughs> with the with the machine. So actually, as I said, I'm on maybe let just. Let's bring down the volume a tiny little bit. So I'm just trying. Nothing is happening here. Just 
just with this patch with the avant-garde staccato strings, 10 minutes. Something like this. And then this would be actually pretty cool by, by having these. And then in the background, you have these uh, cluster sopranos, you know, like oh, doing all these things. So that would probably be a, good, a cool, um, um, cool piece of music. But also I have to load up the, um, let me just load up the really love this patch even if i can't really play it but there are the um the amour somewhere um but i don't remember where it actually was in which folder no actually i mean the vintage this legato patch here vintage violence legato one and two Oh, just want to turn off the overlap for a second. Oops. No. I mean, there are some string patches which will work really great um, when you have individual sections. Um, so let's click on com combinations. There's some other folders. It's other folder I'm not aware of. Oh, in the in the uh, you mean okay? So you mean in in here there is the seen the more cello legatos right that's it there was also another patch like a general patch um which sounded seen a more wasn't there a complete ensemble patch? Oh, that's it, I think. Love that. Should I click that link? <laughs> Nothing is happening here. <laughs> That's a great clip. I thank you for that. So, so you've made an official, you know, stress test video. <laughs> I love it. Yes, I mean, yeah, just if, in case you you probably if you have any questions you can ask Robin because he's he's here from the from the Strats of support team and from the um, you probably do much more than just you know support and and you said it somewhere above but <clears throat> um, yeah so that's for the demo actually I don't have anything else to say we went through some effects here and. Um, yeah, so I think just in case if you don't have any questions left, um, I also have nothing else to tell anymore. <clears throat> um, just check. Someone just said that they that um, he didn't receive a notification. When I'm on switch I'm not really sure I didn't I didn't 
um, switch anything off. So I really don't know what is going on. Yeah, the new machine. Yeah, I'm just happy. I'm absolutely happy. I mean, as you could, you know, see in the elbow test, there is not a lot of stuff going on. And I'm really happy that I can work with, you know, 256 buffer settings and which is actually a really a great help especially when you go with stuff like full orchestra and stuff or when you play guitar so basically i mean basically everything because it it always it's all it always introduces latency when you have to set it higher and and before i had to work with um i think 512 1024 buffer settings to get some stuff done and this is something in between 12 13 to 24 milliseconds or something and so this is really a great thing that everything is a little bit more powerful than before and also with like i think eight terabytes on sample drives it's a little bit of fun you know because you don't have to move around so much stuff so that's and actually as i wrote on facebook yesterday i don't want to pull it up right now because it's not like i don't want to you know because um i went to geekbench and did like a like a little benchmark test and um i think this machine outperformed the new um late 2019 mac pro but I mean, of course, it could be that that I did some things wrong. And to be fair, I think the new Mac Pro has something like 28 cores. So this was just the 16 core version. And it's actually 3.2 uh, gigahertz. And this one, the, so my machine is 18 cores, but um, just 3 gigahertz. So, but actually, yes, I'm happy. I think I will um, hopefully not run into some stuff especially uh, when i see when when i load some of these bigger synth this more cpu intensive synth by um yuhi or um you know probably some nexus stuff we will see how that works <clears throat> yeah i had i had a 6 core before a 6 core 3 point whatever and uh, but i mean in the end it doesn't matter you just have to make music and if the music sounds good i know your music sounds very good so you know where is the problem um yes <sighs> yes of course i'm i'm serious seriously you have to check out tarik mansur's music it's very good and um okay so um yeah just in case we have nothing to talk about anymore i would just you know call it a day and um <laughs> and um you know i'm i'm not sure when i will when i will be online for the next stream um i just have to check because next week monday would be one day before christmas so i'm not really sure if i do something in between or maybe some um you know some 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 quickie some little quick stream somewhere but i'm probably also away in between the years so this would probably actually the last stream maybe 23rd maybe we could do another one uh, we will see but just in case um i don't see you guys anymore i wish you happy christmas and um happy new year and hope you celebrate with your loved ones and have a good time and um yes thank you thank you for being here again thank you for watching um I really had a lot of fun doing this one and we will have way more fun in the future because next year there will be way more streams. I mean, probably I'm just looking for a regular time. Maybe I'm not really sure maybe if, if 11 p.m. if I will um, stick with that time. But I just wanted to make it a little bit more fair to the guys from the from the United States. But this is like around something like three in the afternoon. So I'm, um, this is like during working time. Best would probably be during the weekend, but um, I just want to reserve, you know, so the weekend for, for my family and my loved ones. So I will be probably have it somewhere around probably the same as before, like Monday, Tuesday, something. Okay, so Tarek, thanks again for your donation. I really appreciate you shouldn't have done this, but I really, I really love it. And um, yes, yeah, but you made it. So maybe I will leave it like 
um, you know, 11, maybe 10, maybe 12, something in between. Okay, so again, have a great, uh, great start in the new year. Uh, have great Christmas and um, thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon. Um, maybe, maybe I drop in, you know, something on the 23rd and say, ha ha ha. Still not, you're still not over. I'm still here. <laughs> He's not dead yet. And um, so just in, but just in case I don't, um, we see each other next year. So thank you for watching. Have a great night and see you soon. Bye.